What's up everybody? It's Michaela here with Sempaternal Healing. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a video for you guys on one of the most popular Bartholin cyst treatment methods called Phoebe's method. This method is found all over the internet on a variety of different blog sites and forums and a lot of women have had experiences with it that are positive. I used Phoebe's method during my first three Bartholin cysts. Unfortunately, this method stopped working for me after those first three Bartholin cysts that I had, but I still use the ingredients in Phoebe's method in different ways combined with other remedies that I like. So before we get into this video, I just want to announce that I now have a website up where you can find a lot of information on treatment methods for Bartholin cysts, a little bit more about them, um, some other random blog posts about holistic healing, and a recommended product page where you can actually purchase all of the different ingredients for the remedies that I discuss with you in these videos. You will find a link to that website in the description box below. So this method was posted by a woman named Phoebe on a blog site in 2010. This method contains three ingredients, calamine lotion, tea tree oil, and witch hazel. Calamine lotion is primarily an antiseptic. Um, there are many different brands that are available on the market. The one that I use, you can find on my website in the recommended products section. It's known to help to heal rashes, bug bites, stings, itching. I used to use it for mosquito bites when I was a kid. I lived in Montana and there are loads of mosquitoes there during the summer. The second ingredient, tea tree oil, is also an antiseptic. It's an antibacterial and it has compounds in it that actually help to rebuild the skin tissue and promote the production of white blood cells that will help to attack any infection that you have. It also has a slight stinging and burning effect that can help to reopen the Bartholin gland. The third ingredient is witch hazel, and this is commonly used on the face. It helps to shrink the skin tissue, it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, it helps with acne, rosacea, eczema, and it's a really great facial toner. It is also an astringent. So the way that you use this method is by mixing all of these ingredients together, and I'm going to show you how I do that in one second, and you put it on a gauze pad, and I don't know if you guys saw my Q&A about Bartholin cysts video, but in that video I describe a little bit more about how you can place the gauze pad on the cyst for optimal results. Basically, you put the mixture on the gauze pad and you place it there for one hour, and then you take it off, switch up your remedy a little bit, take a sitz bath, maybe a hot compress, and then you can put it back on. Some people also like to leave this method on overnight, and personally, for me, I find that leaving a method on overnight is actually when it's most effective. I've had the cyst drain overnight and be gone in the morning, which is a fantastic thing to wake up to. Great way to start your day. Some of the alternate methods that you can use are prid, chamomile tea bags, turmeric paste, golden seal paste, or magnesium sulfate cream. And magnesium sulfate is actually the ingredient that's found in Epsom salt. I'm going to be making another video about a couple of those methods I just mentioned because I know I've never talked about golden seal, turmeric, or chamomile before. So now let's head into my handy dandy kitchen and you guys can watch how I mix this remedy. So I apologize in advance that the lighting is super yellow. The lights in my kitchen are not necessarily the best, but let's get started. So I like to mix the mixture in something that you can easily wipe with a gauze pad. This is the lid of a coconut oil jar <laughs> and you're gonna need a spoon. So you want to start off with the witch hazel. This is definitely my recommended brand and you can find this on the products page on my website. Now I just like to pour a generous amount into the lid. About this much product. And then the second ingredient is going to be your calamine. Um, I like to use a brand called Caladrill. This is not my recommended choice. Um, like before, you can find this in the recommended products section of my website. 
Sometimes you wanna shake this up because it can be a little bit watery. Some lotions are more watery than others. This is a pretty good one, um, but they do not sell this brand anymore in stores. And you wanna add a little less than the amount of the witch hazel. So you end up with something like this. And then I don't have tea tree oil on hand right now, so I'm just going to use this tincture to show you how much of the tea tree oil you want to add to the mixture. Generally, anywhere from 10 to 12 drops should be good. If you want and can tolerate a little bit more of a burning sensation, uh, you can put more of the tea tree oil in there and it can actually help to um, irritate the skin around the Bartholin gland opening just enough to help to release some of that blockage. So that was about 12 drops. And then you want to take the spoon and mix it together to form a paste. It's probably going to be kind of watery depending on the type of calamine lotion that you decided to use. The mixture should look something like this. So when you are in the process of healing a Bartholin gland cyst, um, it's important to use extremely natural ingredients with your home remedies that aren't going to irritate the cyst anymore or introduce any type of chemical. So I use these organic cotton gauze pads and they're kind of expensive so I'm just going to simulate that with a folded up piece of paper towel and you can find the organic cotton gauze pads that I use in my recommended product section just like with everything else. So what I like to do is actually just like dip the gauze pad into the mixture and come up with an extremely generous amount. So when you apply this to the cyst, imagine that your cyst is on this side and this is going up in between your legs. Women's bodies are all different, so the shape of our vaginal area can sometimes not be the same. But for me, I have to kind of put my finger in the middle to fold it like this and shove it upwards Make sure that most of the mixture that you've applied to the gauze pad corresponds with the side that your cyst is on so that it properly reaches the opening. So the Bartholin gland openings are on either side of the opening of your vagina. So it may feel kind of uncomfortable to have a gauze pad there at first, but I promise this method, you get used to it. Like it's really not that bad. You can go about your day pretty normally. It's not gonna like fall out if you pr place it properly. Um, so yeah. So there you have it. That is my tutorial on how to mix Phoebe's method for the Bartholin gland cyst. You can find more information on this method and why it works on my website. And as usual, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to message me on any one of my social media platforms or leave a comment down below. If you found this video helpful and you would like to see more videos like this, give this video a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.